What did your character bring into the precinct? Were you and Gordon work together, or were there a lot of conflicts? Yes, it's, yes, uh, very closely together. The, look, this is called Rise of the Villains, and um, uh, to this point, the first three episodes, it has been just that. The villains have been running amok, and they've become so brazen as to come into the precinct and slaughter cops and kill my predecessor. So, as a counter balance to this outbreak of crime, I have been sent to clean up uh, Gotham and to be a, a mentor to young Jim Gordon and to help him do this. Now, so I am for at once a mentor to him and an antagonist to him because he is, through his own frustration and his inability to get his arms around this, he has started to sh take shortcuts, starting to get into those gray areas of breaking the law in order to enforce it, which I'm very familiar with that. Yes. <laughs> uh, but this character is very different. The antithesis, in fact, of, uh, of, of Dick Mackey, for example, from The Shield, in that he is adamantly opposed to breaking the law in order to enforce it. And then you find out down the line why you start to find out that he has his own darkness and his own past that in informs why he is the way he is. And what's great about that is you start to know, and though that's a big spoiler, I really shouldn't talk too much about that. Well, because, well, you know, that sets up, a, a, in terms of character development, very three-dimensional man who could go anywhere in terms of uh, whether he goes to the light of the dark. So, there's a teaser. Yes. <laughs> uh, what type of preparations did you make to actually join the cast? And in turn, what kind of preparation was made to have Michael join the fold? Kind of. I just watched the shows script? and read them. You just watched the shows? Yeah, yeah. and read the scripts. I, I, yeah. Did you, do you know have a background with Batman? And I guess this, this new world is world. I have a background with comics. Yeah. I just, you yeah. know, yeah. I... I, I I think that anything you loved when you were 12, 13, and 14, those are your formative years, the, the bands you loved when you were 13, you still love, you, you will always love them. So I, I dug that stuff, even though I moved away from it, you know, you discover girls, you move on, you know. <laughs> uh, you can do both. More about right. that. Well, then, right. yeah. No, but you know, it always holds a place in my heart. I just think it's a really cool, fun, storytelling arena, you know, so preparation, you know, imagination, a lifetime preparation for this, sure. Yeah, no, I mean, really we had to do very little. Michael was such a natural fit to the show. When he came aboard, he fit right into it, and he provided that necessary counterweight that we needed. Because, you know, Ben is a very strong actor, and he was going on a dark journey. We need someone who could hold it. You know, hold the, hold the scene and leverage against Ben in those scenes to make the show feel balanced. And so when he came on, it was like all of a sudden things started to just fit together. Like like the way it does when it works. And you go, oh, yeah. that was good. You made a good decision, like, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is uh, there a certain sorry, character I, arc? I can't. Sorry, oh, really? we have to cut it off. Yeah, oh, sorry. This one's quick. Oh, my God. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, guys. Let's talk to you guys. Can we get a good picture together? Yeah, sure.